Hello friends and welcome to TechyJack. In this video we will see the demonstration of Azure AD users and group creation. We will see how to create a user in Azure AD. We will see how to invite user in Azure AD. How to bulk upload CSV for multiple user creation and how to create a group with assigned and dynamic membership. So let's get started. So friends we are now on our Azure portal and let me go to the Active Directory and navigate to the users. You can see there are three users with this email address we have registered our device and with this one we have joined our device with Azure AD. So in order to create a new user it's simple click on new user and here the create user is selected and invite as for the guest user. So if I select the name as Peter let me copy this and the name is Peter and the first name is Peter you can put the last name as well I'm not putting it just to make it short and I will select the auto generated password or you can choose the let me create a password if you can do that you, you can just put your password there and right now there is no group selected I have created a test group for just for testing purpose you can see the test group is there if you want to put this user inside a test group you can do that but right now I'm not doing that we will create a group later block sign in that means user will not able to log in if we click on yes so that's why it is on a no user location you can put the user location and you can select the country as well and job title let me select the job title as a sales executive and department will be like sales you can put the company name manager but just for the demonstration I am keeping it simple you can click on create and now you can see the Peter the new user has been created and the user type is member because it's on a cloud we have created this user from the Azure AD so that's why it's a member and if you want to create a guest user that is also simple you can click on new guest user and you can see the invite uh, user is already selected here and let me put the name as Ronnie let me put the email address for Ronnie at the rate techiejack.com so this is a user outside the organization so that's why the uh, domain is different and the first name is Ronnie and if you want to uh, type a personal message you are invited to this 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 group invited to XYZ no groups and roles are selected and if you want to select the job title department and the company name when you are doing it in a production environment you have to put the all information here and let me click on invite and now you can see inviting user ronnie at techiejack.com and now the ronnie uh, the guest user has been created you can see the user type is guest and creation type is invitation what if you want to create a multiple user in a one go here you can see the bulk operation you can bulk create bulk invite bulk delete and download user by this you can download all the users you can delete all the users you can invite multiple users and you can create multiple users if we click on this one and you can see the download CSV template optional if you download this template it will give you a template and you can edit it according to your need you can see the username principal password block sign in first name last name job title description and there are a lot of other attributes as well let me edit this CSV and we'll try to upload with few multiple users in a one go so I have edited that CSV and you can see the Davies John Carter Jacob Leo and Thomas uh, Leo and Thomas are the manager and the department is sales manager and the rest of the other user are sales executive and the department is sales and only the John Carter has a last name otherwise all the other user has only the first name and the tenant is my tenant and if you are doing it in your production environment you have to put your tenant name here so let me try to upload this file and let's see if all the users are created or not so here we can see the option to upload the file I can click on upload and let me click on submit the file uploaded successfully and in progress so let's wait for a while once uh, the file get executed so now you can see uh, the bulk operation user create dot CSV succeeded and let me close this 
and also let me close this user have been uploaded to the azure ad let me refresh it and let's see if they are there or not okay see you can see the davis jacob john carter leo and thomas are there so let's go to the group as well now and if i click on group you can see we have a test group that is a signed group and let me click on this and if i want to delete this group we can just simply delete this the group has been deleted now so let me try to create a new group and the group type will be the security and we'll type the name as a sales group and the membership is a assigned membership if you want to select the owner the no owner is selected i want to select the owner and i will select the owner as a default id like my email id so this one is the owner owner is selected and let me create this group the sales group has been created and if i click on this you can see the membership type is assigned and source is on the cloud type is security this is the object id of this group and the date of creation but there is no members right now there are no members only the one owner is there the zero members are there so if we go to the members we have no members and if you want to add the members we can click on add members you can select from here as well or else you can type the name as well so i want the davis to be inside this if i can't find the davis i can type here davis i can select this john carter john is selected and i want to select the jacob as well these are the sales executive so i am putting it in a sales group and if we refresh it you can see all three members are there now okay the users are now there and if we go to the group again so if we click on new group the type is security and i will say the group name will be sales manager group and the owner again i will select to the this one and i will click on select the membership type will be the dynamic user so uh, if we select the dynamic user you have to add dynamic query according to which it will filter the rule and will put the user inside this group so let me click on add dynamic query and we have to add some expression here so let me click on add expression and i say and choose the property i will say the property will be like job title and the operation will be equals to and i'll say manager you can type the additional expression as well if i want to add one more you can type the property like department and the department will be like sales manager for us so equals to sales manager and now let me click on save and let's create this group so all the members have the job title of the manager or a department of the sales manager they will be automatically come inside this group so let me see if uh, the users uh, are there or not because we haven't added any users manually so let me go to the members no members have been found let's wait for a while now you can see the two users leo and thomas they were the manager and they automatically came inside this group if you create a group with the dynamic membership you have to wait at least 4 to 5 minute to appear the user inside this group so in this video we have seen how to create a user how to invite a user how we can create a group how we can put a membership into a group and how we can add a dynamic membership to a group so i hope you found the video informative and let's meet in the next video so friends if you found the video informative do subscribe the channel and also check out some other video links on the screen